Hi, my name is Alison Dundon and I'm a lecturer here at the University of Adelaide in sociocultural anthropology. I study in particular gender and sexuality. Um, obviously there's a great variety of the ways in which intersex people are viewed in Western societies, but one of the primary things that intersex people um, are perceived as is being outside of the binary gender system. So as a result, many of them have suffered a great deal in terms of discrimination, feeling shamed, uh, having their bodies um, um, changed hormonally or via surgical interventions. So we only have in, um, sort of really recent statements and changes in law across Western societies. In Australia, for example, in 2013, there was an amendment to the Sexual Discrimination Act under which intersex people can no longer be discriminated against under law. Um, in, in terms of uh, Malta, Malta was the first country in the world to actually, um, in 2015, uh, pass a law against illegal or non-consensual surgical interventions for intersex people um, and the Council of Europe followed with several other forms of anti-discrimination statements and so on. And in 2017 there was another statement, the Darlington Declaration argued that all intersex people must be free of sexual discrimination, discrimination more generally and have a right to self-determination. Well, across the world there's a great variation of how intersex people are viewed and understood and how obviously they experience being intersex. Uh, one of the big issues for um, this kind of discussion, understanding this, is the ways in which people and societies have different understandings of gender systems. So in the West, as we spoke about, it's often a notion of two genders, male and female. Across the world, there are various societies who talk about and understand the world in terms of up to five genders. And I'm going to follow and, and look at three particular examples. But firstly, I just wanted to suggest that there are also commonalities. One commonality is that it's really hard to define intersex globally precisely because there are so many different kinds of communities who um, refer to themselves as intersex or are referred to as intersex. Secondly, a great deal of those communities, if not all, uh, face a lot of stigma and discrimination. So thirdly, intersex people are often connected to the spiritual world, whether deities or being possessed by spirits and so on. So there's often a connection between being intersex and being um, connected to the spiritual.